Hi, this is Liz. I'm a Dell Certified Repair Technician, and today we're going to be discussing why is there no sound on my Alienware computer? And we're going to go over some software and hardware solutions. If you find this video in any way helpful, please like and share. So uh, first we're going to go over the software solutions, like I said, uh, and then we're going to go over, um, they're the same for, the software solutions are the same for a desktop as they are for a laptop. And then after we're going to go over some hardware solutions relating to sound. So. First, and uh, like I said, we'll go over desktop and laptop hardware issues. So we're also gonna, I'm gonna be doing this in Windows 10, but I'm also gonna give you some pointers if you're running Windows 7 or Windows 8, how to do the same thing there. It's just uh, slightly different. So first, I'm gonna have you run a little built-in troubleshooter that Windows 10 has. I'm gonna go down to your start. And I'm going to this little settings wheel. If you're running Windows 7 or Windows 8, you would need to go to your control panel. And when you're in your control panel or Windows settings, you would, type in find and fix whoops find and fix problems with playing sound and you would click on that or another way to do it if you're having trouble with that is you would go down to update and security troubleshoot and then playing auto. And, and actually, once you get to this section, uh, you would you have a bunch of different options for troubleshooting things. So this is always a good section to know about. So playing audio. And then it's going to run the troubleshooter. OK, so it usually gives you a list of devices. So if you're on a desktop like I am, then you would select where your what kind of speakers you have attached to it or your built-in monitor if you have them built in uh, sorry if you have them built into your monitor then you would select that and then you would hit next if you are uh, you have a laptop then you would have to select whatever kind of speakers your computer comes with if you're a little confused as to which one that is uh, then you can always try all of them because you can rerun this troubleshooter as much as many times as you need but for example this says HDMI so that would be whatever is connected by HDMI to my computer uh, and there's little giveaways like that headphones uh, you know that's not what we're trying to fix here so so on and so forth so I would hit the next button all right now so this this part of the troubleshooter where it says turn off audio enhancement might improve sound quality to turn them off use the disable all checkbox now this is good for if you say your speakers are scratchy having some sort of cutting in and out problem then this would be a good part of the troubleshooter to use if you have no sound at all it probably most likely will not help you uh, so I'm gonna hit no Okay, so play test found. Uh, so apparently they want to reinstall my audio driver. So I'm not going to do this, but this would be a good thing to try. I'm just going to take you through all the different possible solutions. Okay, so it's already done. All right, so that would be how you would go about doing it. And it will also reinstall the drivers for you. So that's a really nice thing. So if you find that it doesn't find anything at all, I'm going to take you a next step. Do that. Do something similar manually. We're going to go over to this PC. I just went down to File Explorer, double clicked. When it opened up, we're going to right click on this PC, or sometimes we, uh, if you're like Windows 7, Windows 8, it will say something like My Computer. And then I would go down to Manage. Once I get my Computer Management Console open, you go to Device Manager, and you're going to go down to the Sound, Video, and Game Controller. Use the arrow to make it come down. High Definition Audio Device. We're going to right click. And now we're going to do is we're going to uninstall the driver. I'm sorry, I'm not going to actually uninstall my device because my sound is currently working. But if your sound is not currently working, you would click on uninstall device. And then you would, uh, I will say like, are you sure kind of thing. And you will say yes. And then you would reboot the system and allow Windows to reinstall the driver automatically. Because sometimes they just aren't working correctly and you need Windows to fix it for you. And you can, by uninstalling it, this is a feature that helps you to force Windows to do that. Now, if for any other reason it doesn't reinstall automatically, come back here and check after the reboot. But So if you find that it doesn't reinstall the driver automatically, then you can go to your PC Maker site 
and uh, download it there, whether you're a Dell, HP, Lenovo, so on and so forth. You just go to that manufacturer's website, go to their support section, and type in your model, and then they have a usually really easy portal to download uh, drivers for your audio. Okay, so you try all these things, and Liz, my computer is still not working. I still don't have any sound, or my sound is still cutting out. Okay. Now we're gonna move on to the hardware portion. So bear with me, we are partway through the troubleshooting method. All right, my fellow eggheads, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so next step, we're gonna use a standard pair of headphones as a tool to determine whether or not your hardware is working. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those headphones and we're going to plug them in to your laptop or desktop. And then we're going to try playing sound. Because if you find that it plays when your headphones are plugged in this means that you are having a hardware issue because your headphones are a separate device they plug straight into your motherboard usually or into a board that goes to your motherboard so if you find that the headphones work and your speakers don't you're having a problem with your speakers so if you had a desktop you would swap out your external speakers now that's pretty easy with a desktop if you have a laptop it gets a little trickier you need to get inside your laptop with either a disassembly video or go to your PC maker site and look for a service manual to figure out how to break it down as you can see this is what your speakers look like I'm showing you the inside of a laptop and you would follow your speakers now they might look a little different than this than the shape but you'd follow them up to the plug right there and see how it says SPK right next to there. It doesn't always, but that's kind of a good indicator. You would take it by the two tabs and pull it out. And first you would try just pulling it out and then plugging it back in and seeing if that fixes the problem. Sometimes it's just that simple. If it still has a problem, that problem, then you're going to need to go ahead and buy a new pair of speakers and install them. If you aren't sure, uh, what kind of speakers you could look it up for look for a sticker on the speakers that has some sort of part number on it or you could look up uh, speakers on ebay by the model number of your computer but that's it thanks for watching our video if you found it in any way helpful please like and share if you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos if you're an egghead like us then go ahead and subscribe if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and one of our certified repair technicians will get back to you. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.